Hey, in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to avoid five major mistakes most backpackers make when they get out in the springtime. You're gonna to wanna to stay to the end because we always save the best for last. Now, if you're new to the channel, we're at Revitals and we're all about getting people outdoors. We think that it has some huge effects on all aspects of your life. So if you're interested in getting outdoors, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, let's dive right in to the five mistakes to avoid when you start backpacking in the spring. All right, number one on the list is when you get out there backpacking in spring, you haven't been thinking about bugs all winter long, but it's time to start thinking about it. Make sure you pack your bug spray, make sure you're bringing bug nets but for your shelters, because sometimes you get out there, you aren't expecting it, and suddenly the bugs are back in town. All right, after a long winter, the last thing you're typically thinking about is getting sun burnt, but it is time to start thinking about that again. Make sure you're bringing your sunscreen, bringing long sleeves, if that's something you like to do, like a sun shirt or a sun hoodie, and make sure you're also bringing Make sure you're also bringing chapstick or something that maybe can double as chapstick and sunscreen. All right, this one's a big one. A lot of times when I get out on my first trip in the springtime, I way overestimate my physical abilities after the winter. And I sometimes don't understand that the trails aren't fully prepped. So make sure that you're physically prepped and the trail you're planning for is physically prepped. Sometimes you get out there and there's still a ton of snow or there's a bunch of fallen trees that have not been maintained yet. So make sure that you're physically ready for whatever trail you're planning and you don't get a little bit too ambitious and make sure that your trail is also ready for you. All right, this is a really big one and it's honestly one that drives me insane which is making sure you're on top of your gear a lot of times at the end of last season you put your gear away and you don't think too much about it and you go to pull it out this season and you didn't maintain it properly or you put a hole in it that you forgot about or it's grown mold because you put it away wet and you didn't pull it out to maintain it make sure you pull your gear out early you take a look at it you inspect it so you don't get ready to pack on the trail and find out an issue or you get on the trail and find out the issue there so make sure you're maintaining your gear and you have it ready to go for the spring. All right, last and probably the biggest and most important tip is to remember that in the springtime, you get big temperature swings. Because the temperatures are rising, that's typically why you start thinking about backpacking, but you need to make sure you're looking at the colder temperature, which is the overnight temperature. Now here, it was almost 80 degrees, but we could see into the 30s or at least the 40s tonight as we're camping. That's a very big swing in the temperature. So you wanna make sure that you're properly layering the springtime. I've got things like Dragonal Thermals or a Puffy. This is actually the Ventus. Um, that I'm gonna be layering with because the sun just went down and it's starting to cool off. Now, if you are interested in this Ventus, if you haven't heard about the Ventus, go check it out because this piece is currently pre-funding on Kickstarter. It's raised over $300,000 and it's getting near the end of the campaign. So if you wanna save 20% or over $40 on this piece, go check it out. It's an amazing piece that weighs seven ounces and just as a crazy good insulator for what it is. So there you have it. Those are our five things to avoid when you start getting back out in the springtime. Make sure you follow those. Make sure you have a good trip. And if you're interested in this type of content and learning about how to be a better backpacker or ultralight backpacker, make sure you subscribe to the channel and we will see you on the next video.